How to disassemble a Lee Enfield Mark IV. First things first, lift the sights, release the bolt, get a little push button there, push that down, pull the bolt back till it stops. When you release that, locking loop should come out. There's the bolt. Put the sights down just so they don't get damaged. Next, we've got two bands. Sling swivel band and then just the front band. You need to undo these all the way. Simply open apart, slide off. Turn in the front one, prise it open enough to get it off, but not too far. Top piece of the wood, front and rear. Then we need to remove the bottom piece of wood, that is two screws. You'll see why I've put the sights away now. Front screw on the trigger guard. Use the washer. And you have a little screw at the rear there. One thing I will say is just make sure you use the correct size screwdriver so you don't, don't damage anything. This will then swing out. What I will say is that that piece of the trigger needs to go underneath the release catch there and obviously it needs to slide in past the magazine release catch. Now this should just carefully slide off. Let's put that out of the way. And then you've got the rear butt plate. Medium flathead, sorry, got two bolts at the rear. These might be quite tight because obviously metal into wood does give a bit of a friction fit, and they're quite large bolts. I should remove these. It should just come off. Large flat braided screwdriver. Once you've taken the butt plate off, it will, it will reveal a hole. Simply slide the screwdriver in, and then you would undo it. I don't need to take the butt the. Uh, stock off so I'm going to leave that on. There you have it, disassembled and filled. Obviously there are other screws that you can remove if you want to do any more in-depth cleaning but generally that is more than enough to remove.